Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is uh, hmm, the 2nd of November. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. I've been feeling a little unwell lately, so uh, yeah, this video is a little bit late. But hopefully this is still good. Today's poem is for the three minimum genetic mutation. Okay, so you have ACG, ACGT and one mutation is one character change okay mm, excuse me okay okay so basically this is mm, this is going to be a, a what you might call it a breath first search right um basically you're trying to get from beginning to end um, there are a couple of notes that you can go um, for, um, yeah, just a couple of notes that you can go, and yeah, you can think about it as like a pit stop or something like, you know, shortest path between two notes from start to end, um, and you can only go to some of these. Um, yeah, I, mean, I think that's pretty much the idea. So let's get started. So, hmm. To say bank is equal to that. Um, we can start with a Q. Um, hmm. What is the no, no, oh? I was gonna say, what is the size of bank? If the size of bank is only ten, then we can just do that. There are a couple of things that we can, because there are a couple of ways we can kind of try to construct these uh, intermediate stops. For example, you can maybe do, um, you know, a character at a time or something like that. Um, you know, you could brute force, because for eight characters for each of the DNA things, um, and each character can be one either of the four. So one step is going to be 32 different possibilities. But if bank only has 10 things, then you can just put force on the banks itself. So eh, yeah, either way is probably fine for, I mean, the, the, the constraints are not really high, is what I'm trying to say. So you can definitely um, you know, do whichever. So then here we get, we don't even need to set then, right? I, I just did set because I thought I was going to do it the other way with lockup, but that was before I looked at the constraint. So um, let's just say candidate, maybe. If I just one. Uh, so we have to do a few things. Uh, like a distant lookup. And I guess that's really it. Oh, and I have to calculate the delta. And oh, whatever, I'll just write it. Um, And this and just in the one and then q dot append candidate right? and then at the very end just return start of n or the distance of n. Uh if there's no such mutation return negative one, so we have to do something like if n not in maybe you know you could there are a couple of ways you can do it, but I guess this is the way that I'm doing it. Give it a spin. Looks good. Let's give it a submit. Cool. Um, yeah. 946. What am I doing here? Oh, what's the complexity here? Um, this one's going to be O of L for the length of the string. Um, this loop execute once per uh, per word, so this is going to be O of n. 
yeah, where n is uh, at most of the <sighs> where n is at most the size of the bank, and and each candidate. So this is n. So this is going to be n square, um, except for both this n, and this is going to be O of L. So this is basically O of n squared times L times space is going to be O of n times L, depending on how you want to do n, right? For for both the q and the distance, each has n elements and maybe L things. Right. Um, cool. Um, this is a very quick video, I think. Um, but this is a very fundamental, basic type of problem that you would expect to know. So definitely practice up on that. So let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.